One uh, concern that we had was we wanted a rescue engine, but we didn't want a rescue engine with a terribly long wheelbase. So we were able to combine the two. That's why we have a tall overall height of 10 foot, but we were able to shorten the wheelbase as much as possible to 31 foot, one and three quarter inches. Hello, I'm Dan Grossman with the City of Washington Fire Department. I'm an engineer and I'm a member of the Apparatus Committee. We're gonna to talk today about our 2022 Pierce Enforcer Rescue Engine. This rig was custom built for the City of Washington considering our topography. It has an L9 Cummins motor in it. The approach departure angles and the gear ratios were all designed specifically for our tight streets and our extreme hills. All the mounting in this rig was custom built at Glick Zillianopel by Jordan. We had a series of meetings with him prior to fabrication of the mounting. Through the process, we would make some changes as we went. Jordan was great. He threw ideas at us, we threw ideas at him, and everything came out perfect the way we expected it to. This apparatus has four 200 foot cross lays, single stack. We decided to go with single stacks because we're a short staff fire department and uh, through our own research determined that that was the easiest to deploy for one firefighter. It has four intakes, one on each side. It also has a six inch intake on the front bumper and a four inch intake on the rear. Again, uh, all the mounting was custom done by Jordan at Glickzillion Opal. He came up with this idea. He built these drawers and mounted all the hardware. The uh, driver's side over the wheel compartment holds our high rise and rip equipment. Again, this shelf was custom built. It tilts down uh, for easy access. On the rear, we have 200 feet of two and a half and 300 feet of inch and three quarter line. This is the rescue compartment, Genesis E-Tools, custom mounted again at Zillion Opal by Jordan. Cribbing storage. This actually uh, was a fairly complicated process to design this. One, accessing lumber uh, in the midst of a lumber shortage was hard. Two, uh, deciding how we were gonna mount this so it was gonna be easily accessible without causing any kind of damage to the body. So Jordan actually helped us through that process also. EMS compartment and then ancillary hand tools. On the top, we have our rope rescue equipment, and underneath of that, we have our Stokes basket. In the hose bed, there's a 1,000 foot of four inch, and it's a closed lid on the hose bed that offers us a, uh, an elevated platform to walk on or work from. Mm -hmm. 